All right. Can you guys see and hear me? If that's a yes, you can uh, type it down below in the chat section. And when you type any message from now, henceforth, please make sure that you are sending the message to all panelists, panelists and attendees. So make sure that you're sending every message in the chat box to all panelists and attendees, not only all panelists. So if you send the message to all panelists, only I can see it. Uh, I, I don't think Mr. Bishal can see it, all, all other people can see it. So make sure that you send the message to all panelists and attendees. So change the setting right now in the chat section below. All right, now I can see, uh, so you can see on the screen as well, the instruction. So when you're sending, you don't send to all panelists, you send to all panelists and attendees. All right, now I can see a lot of people joining in. Uh, Done. That's great. Now, a lot of people have joined in. So quickly, before we start the call, we are going to do a quick introduction. So in the message, in the chat section, when I say in the message section, please understand, I, I refer to the chat section. In the chat section, please write your name, your city, and your profession so that we can get to know more about you. Your name, your city, and your profession. And when you send it, send it to all panelists and attendees, not only all panelists, okay? All right, message is pouring in already. Ajinath Kalande, okay. Ajinath, I think I mentioned, but you didn't get it. So when you send the message, send to all panelists and attendees. Thermatex, uh, Thermax Limited Pune. Great. Sridhar from Madhya Pradesh, Senior Manager in IT and Communications. Pradeep Bangalore, Shad Accountant. Vivek again, Bangalore, IT Professional. Shraddha Nag from Siliguri, working as analyst in Willis Towers, Watson. Great. Shraddha, by the way, did you know that Mr. Vishal was born in Siliguri as well? Amarjeet from Hyderabad, software engineer. Satish from Bangalore, Satish account. This is a funny thing, but we have, uh, Satish is a popular name in Bangalore and we have like so many Satish people uh, coming in. So Satish, if you could mention your last name or maybe the initial of your last name, it would be very helpful for us to remember you. So Arang is an analyst in DPS Singapore. Are you joining from uh, Singapore, Arang? Rajiv, uh, AVP Finance, Kolkata. Shraddha, you know that, that's great. So uh, more people, who those who are joining in, I'll just request, I, I can still see some people, Satish, you as well. Change your uh, setting from all panelists to all panelists and attendees. Now, while you do that, uh, people who are joining now, just look at the screen. You'll see the instruction uh, to join from all panelists to all panelists and attendees. I've said it about five times now. And if I say that more, that's gonna be boring. So. Uh, a few house rules for you before we start this webinar so you can see that your video and your audio has been both muted or cancelled which means that you cannot uh, make yourself visible on this video or you cannot make yourself audible on this audio as well now why is that because a lot of people in the past when we have added them in videos it happens that some people make some weird noises i don't know why and then there's some weird videos that show up so to avoid all that distraction and to keep complete focus on this call we are making sure that we are making sure that you have uh, your video and your audio turned off which we have done from our side and also right now as you're attending this webinar for educational purposes please make sure that you have a notebook to note down everything that you learned on this call so that this is just not another webinar that you've attended this is actually a webinar that you've learned something from because a lot of content is going to drop today a lot of content so make sure that you have a notebook and a blue pen a black pen and maybe of three, four other colored pens also, if you have handy. 
or if you don't have it uh, just make sure that you have a blue and a black pen or if not at all just a simple pen for now and a pencil maybe and uh, the most important thing when mr bishal uh, is speaking can is there an echo is there an echo i don't think so so make sure i'm sorry uh, make sure that when mr bishal is speaking and you have a question should there is there is a lot of echo still coming uh Shridhar, because you're responding better there's still a lot of echo amarjeet uh, that's clear that's awesome so uh, what i was saying is that when you have a question when mr bishal is speaking so you go you can see in the section below there is a chat and there's a q and a section so when you have a question, make sure that you ask your question in the Q and A section, because if you type it in the chat box, you can see already so many messages are pouring and your messages will get lost. Okay, so make sure that when you have your message, you uh, when you have your question, you record it in the question and A section. That way, it will keep uh, recorded so that we can view that at a later time towards the end of the call. If Mr. Bishala has some time to answer some questions, we'll be very happy to obviously get some answers from him. But if we have some time, we'll have it in the end. A lot of people still joining in. Let me announce their names. Uh, Satish R. Ah, that's great. Mayur, uh, you're from Goa. You are a business consultant. That's amazing. Goa is a wonderful, wonderful place. Palash, hey, hey, Palash. Uh, those of you who don't know Palash here, sure, Palash is a, a mastermind member of our esteemed The Balanced Life Mastermind. He has graced us with his presence today. Palash is uh, his Palash Mitra, regional director, IT sales professional from Mumbai. He's joining us from Mumbai right now. Khalid, uh, Khalid Nasim from Patna. That's amazing, Khalid. Khalid, make sure you change your setting from all panelists to attendees. So, without wasting further time, I think it's time that we have Mr. Bishal on the call with us right now. So, I will go ahead and all right all right all right all right we do have mr bishal sarkar on the call with us right now and obviously as you already know mr bishal sarkar is the author of several books including the book i love public speaking he's writing another book right now which is coming out in december as he's the highest paid public speaker in india he has given more than four thousand nine hundred paid presentations he has been on multiple national and international media channels radio shows and newspapers including the times of india conscious millionaire and reebok he is the man on a mission he is on an amazing mission in his lifetime to impact 100 crore people to lead confident happy and powerful lives for themselves and their families currently mr bishal is focused on helping subject matter experts with 15 to 20 years of professional experience to become totally confident in their presentation and public speaking skills so that they can grow in their career faster make more money and impact more people his clients are generally highly successful it professionals media experts managers ceos and business owners and today on this call, he will share with you exactly how thousands of his clients have become confident speakers and how you too can become a world-class confident speaker. With that, let's welcome Vishal Sarkar. Vishal, are you there? Yes, I'm right here. Let me turn on the video so I can see everybody and everybody can see me. Uh, I hope you guys can see me now let me just see all right all right everybody <clears throat> i can see a lot of people joining on the call right now uh welcome everybody to this call uh, what we're going to do right now is going to be something very very amazing because we are actually going to be talking about a lot of about public speaking and exactly how you can become powerful and confident speakers if you can hear my sound okay would you like would you um would you type in the sound box 
all okay, A double L and then okay. So I know that I can, I can be totally heard by you before I jump on and share all the tips and techniques with you. Okay. <clears throat> Amarjeet, Shraddha, Palash, Ajinath, Vivek, uh, Satish. Satish, okay. Bharat, Pradeep, Srinivas, oh, a lot of people joining. And would you let me know um, how many years of experience do you have in your career? Just the number, 13, 4, whatever the number is. Just write it down. Okay. <clears throat> 4, 15, 6, 5, 8, 15, 4, 9, 18, 17, 10, 20. That's amazing. And the final question I have for you is, uh, before we get started right now, is this. What made you, and I, I don't want you to answer this question in the chat, boss. In fact, it's better you don't answer to me, answer to yourself. Uh, hey, Samyak, hey, Mayur. The question I have for you is, what made you join this call today? Don't write the answer. Just think about it. What made you join this call today? Now, you might think about it that, Vishal, I joined the call because it's a webinar you're doing. You know, I, I heard about it. I got the link, so I'm joining, or I'm a part of your program. You know, some of the people in the program, in the, um, in the list here right now, for example, Palash. Hi, Palash. I hope you had a great Durga Puja. Some of the people are actually a part of my year-long mastermind. Um, Rajesh Mahapatra, he is a part of my mastermind for last uh, two and a half, three years right now. <clears throat> Hi, Palash. Yeah. So, and, and some of you are new to my community. Just, I want you to think about it. Why did I join this call? So it's not just to learn public speaking, right? I mean, that, that can be the first level, but if you think deeper, you're going to understand that you join for a deeper reason. Why did you block off your calendar to come to this call instead of, you know, spending your time somewhere else? Let's take a few seconds to think about that. Because I'm not here to entertain you. I'm sorry, I'm not a joker. I'm a mentor. I'm here to help you think deeply, act courageously, so you can live the life that you want. So why did you join? I want you to think for the next 15 seconds. What is that's missing in my life right now for which I decided to spend this 60 to 90 minutes with Bishal to know how he can help me further? Why? And some of you have started getting answers and I appreciate the messages. I want you to just quickly in three to four words type what is that you want from this call? You know, what is the result you want one year from now, five years from now, or three months from now, or 90 days from now? for which you decided to join the call today. What's missing in your life right now that made you join this call? Would you be kind enough to type in the message with your answer in less than, a, less than five, six words, so I know what's your vision for, for coming to this community? Shankar said, monetize my expertise. Okay, very, very good. Srinivas said, great presentation skills. A guidance to change my career from employee to a coach, guide mentor. That's great, Sridhar. We have a lot of people in my programs who have gone from nothing to being a world-class speaker in their profession. I mean, you know, they have like project managers, senior leaders and stuff. And I also have a few people who have gone from nothing to have some students who are, you know, earning between 10 to 25 lakhs rupees a month um, by being a speaker. But I, I'm not, I'm not too, um, you know, I, I love money. I enjoy money. I support money, but I'm not too, I don't teach public speaking to make money, you know? I mean, I don't teach people that, okay, be a speaker to make money. You know, there are many people who do that. You will see their ads like make one crore rupees in a weekend and stuff like that. I'm here to make you fucking powerful and confident so that whether you, you want to get the next level promotion, you know, whether you want to access the inner deeper power to face the reality so that you can, you can go ahead and speak with confidence and damn power in the office. That's what I do. Okay. More, more answers. Confidence, <clears throat> Pradeep says, to become a confident speaker and presenter. Ex uh, Vivek says, I want to improve my executive presence. Very, very important, right? Samya Tiwari says, more confident and more um, impressive public speaking skills. Um, Satish says, effective communication leadership for that. Uh, to improve confidence. Shraddha, Shraddha Nag. To be able to express myself to others with more specific, with confidence. Okay, to get positive vibes from you as a renowned public speaking trainer. Okay, to become a warrior in this competitive world. Oh man, I love that. I love Bharatna. Warrior, man. Enlightened warrior. Okay, now here is the next question I have for you. Why is this important to you? Whatever you wrote down, type in one, two words. Why is this important to you? Why is being an effective communicator? What will this help you do? 
What will being a warrior help you do? What will more confidence help you do? You, somebody says, I want to monetize, make what will that do for you? Think about that and type down the answer. See, this is the deep part. This is what I'm coaching you right now. And some of you I know will say, okay, I just came for some lot of tips only. I don't want to think. Well, um, there is a something called leave the meeting button. You know, uh, respectfully, anytime you can leave. If you don't want to think for yourself, if you don't want to create a vision for yourself, if you don't want to create a freedom for yourself, uh, I, I expect you to leave. Um, <clears throat> to create an impact. Move up the corporate ladder. I love my objective goal, need a change in that direction as soon as possible. That's great, Sridhar. To showcase my public speaking skills to coach youth. Okay. Creativity. Create visibility and earn respect. Why is this important to you? Think about that. Why is being a great speaker important to me? What will that give me that I don't have right now? That's what I specialize in helping you move to the next level to get what you want. Improve personal relationship, also lead team work <clears throat> in, in teams in work life. That's good. Awesome. So I need one commitment from you. You know, you might have been a lot of webinars where people come and then they sell you, right? Like in the end, like they say, okay, if you want my help, here is how to buy my program. You know, this is 25 lakhs rupees or today only for 25,000 rupees, 50,000 rupees, blah, blah, blah. And then blah, they, they create this sales scenario. Can I just promise you before I go forward for 60 to 90 minutes, there is nothing to buy. First of all, like nothing at the end of the pro I'm going to give you all content. There are people in the program who are part of this call. There is nothing I can do. So you can just take notes. I encourage you in return, just take a lot of notes, number one. And number two, <clears throat> only commitment I have from you, want from you, is you're going to stay focused and do the fucking work that I tell you to do in this and, and implement everything that you're going to do. So do I have your commitment for that? If I have it on, say, IHC, just type IHC, which is I have commitment. Type the letters IHC. Okay. I don't want any money from you. And it's shocked some of you, right? You thought I would come and just tell you my, about my programs. Not here to do that. My programs are full right now today. All programs are full for now. So <clears throat> not looking for clients, looking to help people here. I want to give back. Um, by the way, how many of you lo love that honesty part that I, I want to be transparent with you from the beginning without playing any cat and you know, mice game that I will tell you something and I'll do something. I'll hypnotize you. I'll sell you. I don't like all that. That's bullshit. I believe in transparency. Anybody else apart from me believes in transparency? Type the word transparency. If you like to be transparent with people and if you like people who are transparent, type the word transparency in the chat box. Okay, good. <clears throat> Khalid is transparent. Okay. Awesome. Let's go through the content then. I love that. Okay. From time to time, I'm going to check some messages as well. So now that we have created some ground, here is what I want to tell you. See, people see a lot of success stories. People have trained, you know, from multimillionaire CEOs to, uh, you know, entrepreneurs, business leaders, <clears throat> IT professionals, project managers. I've trained them and you can see many of them and how they have become successful speakers. But you see, <clears throat> I was not born as a great speaker. I was not. I was not born as a great speaker. In fact, this is where I was born and brought up. I was born and brought up in a small town called Shiliguri, where growing up, I did not have much access. In fact, I studied in a Bengali medium government school. And I still remember I, we had 150 square feet broken railway quarter where nobody spoke English. The only English that entire you know, colony knew is good morning and good night. That's all. Good morning and good night. And of course, happy birthday. <laughs> uh, beyond that, we did not know much English. Um, we did not have a culture of education. I mean, of course, we went to school. I studied in a Bengali medium government school where my school fees was 289 rupees, 289 rupees per year. So that's where I come from. In fact, this is me. I have been an introverted, shy, um, and an ignored guy. For years, nobody knew me. I don't know if you know that feeling where you, you are like, you're not the first bencher. You're also not the last bencher. You are the middle bencher. See, people don't know the middle benchers. I was a middle bencher. 
an invisible guy who nobody knew. By the way, can you guys see the screen? Can you let me know in the chat box? Can you see the screen? Okay, good. So <clears throat> that was me. And I share that with pride today because that's where I came from. I was not born as a great speaker. Sometimes, you know, I, I hear stories of people who say things like, you know, I, I joined my father's business and then I lost money. I, gained. I was like, I didn't have a father's business. You know, I didn't have that. I didn't have, I was not born with that. I did not have that opportunity. So I had to create that. And I celebrate some of you. Um, you know, I, for many years, I spent in Kolkata, you know, getting some education in um, English literature as well. You know, I used to travel by local train like this. And if you have been to local trains, whether in Mumbai or, or you know, Kolkata, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I used to go like this for years and years, spending, saving money, three, four rupees in ticket and eight, nine rupees in ticket. Sometimes I you know, did not get ticket because <laughs> people didn't see that. And, and because I did not have the money. And I say that because when people see me today on big stages and people come to the Confidence Speaker Live workshop or, or somebody books me for a private day, pays me 25 lakhs rupees just for a one-on-one -on -one consulting for an entire day, they think it's given to me. You know, it's not given. I can, I can just look at any executive and leader and t train them on how to become a confident speaker and powerful leader. But that's because I have had, la for the last 12 years, I dedicated my life to understand communication and leadership. And when, when you come, to the confidence speaker live workshop i don't teach theory i'm gonna get you on stage i'm gonna give you feedback i'm all about transformation because write this down that's my first lesson if you really want to become a good speaker a great speaker forget about information and start going for transformation see for information you can do a lot of things you can read books you can read blogs i'm sure many of you have a lot of you know blogs you subscribe to or email newsletters and youtube videos but the thing is, if all those things worked, you would not be here on this call today, right? Because you are drowning in information, but you're starving for transformation. So <clears throat> what, you, what you're about to discover today on this call is, I'm gonna show you some of the mastermind members here on the call. Um, you know, by the way, those of you who are in the mastermind, just type the word mastermind in the chat box so I know who, who all are here already. Some of them are joining, I think, later a little bit. But what you're about to discover today in this call is, um, I know Palash is here, but I want to see who else. Uh, you know, seven hidden secrets of how to become a world-class confident speaker. I'm also going to show you, yeah, hi. Uh, I'm also going to show you exactly how to overcome your stage fear once and for all, how to be more confident. I'm also going to give you some case studies and stories, inspiring stories on how to go to the next level, you know, um, in, in your life, in your career. Is it okay for me to share some real life case study stories with you about some of the people who did not have courage to speak in front of five people, but now they're speaking in front of hundreds and thousands of people. They're getting, you know, next level in their career. Is it okay for me? Type the word story if you love hearing some of the real life stories like that. People like you, type the word stories if you want some, some, of, some of the stories like that. <clears throat> Great, great, great. <clears throat> awesome. Awesome. So additionally, if we have questions, you know, I'll also, if we have time, we'll answer some questions. We'll see how, to, how it goes. Time is limited. We'll see. So here is the big opportunity right now. This world belongs, belongs to action takers. And right now, it's not about just knowledge. The world belongs to communicators. If you look at any leaders, whether they're political leaders or um, business leaders, any leader that you see and respect, they are great speakers. So, right, you know, you might have, you might have heard this reader, leaders are readers. It's bullshit. Leaders are speakers. That's right. If you just read, I can read a lot, but that, does that make me a leader? No, it makes me knowledgeable for sure. But just if I have knowledge, does that make me a leader? No, leaders are speakers. I might have less knowledge than you about one subject, but if I can stand up and boldly express and communicate about my idea to other people, that's my big opportunity. And you're, this is the best time in the world, in the history right now, to upgrade your communication and go to the next level in your career. But the problem that we have right now is that most people, even though they have a lot of knowledge and experience and expertise, they don't have a lot of confidence. I mean, they can speak in front of five people or 10 people or even 50 people, but they don't have the confidence to speak in front of hundreds and thousands of people. Or maybe you have that 
great knowledge, but you're not able to, sometimes you forget points in the middle of the presentation. Does that ever happen to you? Or maybe you're speaking and somebody asks a tough question in the middle of the presentation and you're like, you, you give the answer somehow, you don't know how to answer, you answer, but then you lose the flow. Does that ever happen to you? Or maybe sometimes you know what to say, but you don't get the right words at the right time to express yourself. Does that ever happen to you? Do you have a expression problem sometimes? Yeah. And I want you to think about, you know, the problem that you're facing in communication. How long has it been that you're facing these problems? Is it just two years? Is it five years? If you have stage fear, is it for 10, 15 years? I want you to type the number. How long has it been that you're facing some of these communication problems in your life for the past two, you know, whether it's 10 years, five years, 15 years, whatever, just type down the number in the chat box right now so I can see. Okay, five years, Ajinat says five years, five years, eight years, 10 years, okay, <clears throat> three years, that's good. Five years, three years, five again, three. All right, 10 years, okay. So now I want you to think about how much longer is it going to be okay for you to struggle like this? How much longer are you willing to allow yourself to struggle with communication? How much longer do you want to <clears throat> stay stuck at your level instead of going to the next level? How much longer do you want to wait? How much longer? Yeah, some of you are saying no more, no longer. How much longer is it going to be okay for you to earn what you're earning now instead of earn what you deserve to be earning? How many of you, dis, you know, agree that you deserve to earn more? Type the word deserve. If you deserve to earn more money. <clears throat> Good, Khalid. Sridhar, yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. So here is the 21st century success formula. Write this down if you're taking notes. Specialized knowledge multiplied by confident public speaking equals massive success. Specialized knowledge. Most of you have that. <clears throat> you have 5 to 10 years, 15 years of experience. Somebody says 20 years of experience. You have that. Specialized knowledge. But now... <clears throat> If you don't have that confident public speaking, then you're not going to. So think about it. Five. Give me an answer, guys. I'm, a, I'm not a great student, but I was good at maths. Uh, but even if I'm not good at maths, five multiplied by zero equals how much? Five, five multiplied by zero is how much? Zero, right? Hundred multiplied by zero is how much? Hundred multiplied by zero is how much? Zero, right? So if you have specialized knowledge, but if you don't have the confident public speaking skills, if you have 100 specialized knowledge, but zero public speaking skills, then massive success equals how much in pure maths here? Zero. Because 100 into zero or 200 <coughs> into zero is zero. So most people, what they think is, oh, I'm not getting more success. I have to get more knowledge. No, it's not. You have to get better at your speaking skills. That's what it's about. So <clears throat> here's a case study quickly about Alok. When Alok first came to me, um, you know, he was broken inside. He was afraid of public speaking. He did not have any time for his family and stage fear. By the way, guys, get ready to take a lot of notes because he, his promotion was on hold. And, you know, after the program, he said this, based on Vishal's mentorship and secret lessons, I managed to get a promotion without even asking for it. And yes, in the last 12 months, I increased my income up to 80% and paid off all my home loans. How many of you here want to increase your income up to 80% if I showed you the formula in the next 12 months? No multiple stream, no fucking MLM, network marketing and all those bullshit. In your current career, getting a higher income by going to the next level in your career, by being a manager and leader. How many of you want that? That, you know, how many of you want to learn the formula? Type the word formula if that's you. Formula. And I'm going to show you the seven step formula for that today. <clears throat> okay, good. 
good 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 this is another lady called sandhya she um, she left her job two year, last year and she was working for you know sipla the me medical company pharmacy company pharmaceutical company and now she has become a professional speaker and you know she has improved her public speaking a lot for years she did not have courage to speak her mind and express herself but today is a confident and powerful speaker only because she has learned how to really become a confident speaker this is uh, gajanan when he first came to me he did not have any confidence no speaking skills at all and as you can see on the screen right now at the end of the program he said this course is excellent really worth it public speaking this is the best public speaking course one can attend um, and apart from public speaking skills you get a lot of life skills in the program i'm able to connect with audience now no matter who i'm speaking to i felt i should have done this course 15 years before highly recommended course not worth missing i want you to think about if you came to me 15 years ago where could you be today think about that as as we move forward and the last one i talk about is ravi this is this makes me emotional because ravi did not give me a review ravi's wife gave me a review his wife this is a review from his wife he said i would highly recommend to join vishal sarkar seminar to everybody who would like to become a confident in every areas of life may to be public speaking expert or of any stage fear my husband ravi kumar joined confident men conference last month and today he is a great and amazing speaker he is not only a successful and confident stage presenter but also a great husband father and a loving son for his parents thanks vishal sarkar for mentoring my husband and made him um you know uh, an amazing soul thanks a trillion this is what it's about so for me it's it's not about just training people to be confident speakers in office for me it's about giving you shifts so we're going for the five, seven shifts right now okay shift number 1 shift number 1 write this down you have to learn this is the seven shifts if you're taking notes this is the point number 1 secret number 1 is you have to eliminate self limiting beliefs and increase your confidence by the way if you have these seven things dialed in you can become a world class speaker <laughs> you can reach up to the ceo level in your company just if you have the seven skills that's it and i'm not talking about being a ceo of a startup in a small company I'm talking about ceo of a multi billion dollar organization i want you to just imagine right now if you could for those of you who are corporate professionals but i have caught a little fever and cold yes since yesterday um, so just having my uh, mule tea tea with a little honey uh, and i'm I, i wanted to cancel the webinar but commitment is a commitment i didn't want to cancel i'm here for you so i'm i don't i didn't want to say that you know i just want to take rest no i want to give my best not just take some rest so eliminate your self limiting beliefs and increase confidence so here is the thing the biggest reason you have stage fear by the way how many of you have stage fear chat tag the word fear in the chat box if you have stage fear so that i can tell you how to overcome that okay <clears throat> okay wells okay got it a lot of people so may i suggest to you that you might think you're getting the stage fear only in front of people right now but the thing is 95 95% of the people who have stage fear <clears throat> it was installed into you as a part of childhood programming how many of you heard the these lines don't talk to strangers at the word me if that's you you heard this line don't talk to strangers when you are growing up or if you talk to strangers they will take you they will take, give you chocolate and they will take you kidnap you have you heard that yeah now you know why you are afraid of talking to strangers stage fear because it was told to you don't talk to people who you don't know don't talk to people or sometimes <clears throat> let's say you got first you know in your uh, never happened to me by the way never got first but if you got first in a test you came home and you told everybody in a joint family ma i got first and probably your father said hey shut up nothing to be proud of don't brag so you learned to suppress your talent you learned to suppress your inner appreciation and as a result your self confidence in communication goes out goes away because you stop believing in yourself may i suggest that you don't have a public speaking problem i am telling you right now you are not afraid of public speaking you ready tell me if the sentence i say if it makes sense true or false when i when i give my hand like this then you type true or false whatever is right for you 
after I do this. Here is my statement. <clears throat> you don't have fear of public speaking. You have fear of public embarrassment. You don't have fear of public speaking. You have fear of public embarrassment. Yes, it's all about the fear of being embarrassed in front of other people, which is why you probably can speak to your friends. If you have 50 friends, you can speak. But if you have 50 people in a meeting room, you can't speak because you are afraid of their judgment. So that's part of the childhood programming. Second is, you know, the fear of judgment. And, and we are all at one level afraid of other people judging us because we don't want to look stupid. We want to create that persona of success. We have that fear. And did you know that public speaking fear is the number one biggest fear in the world? Second biggest fear is death. So somebody would rather die than give a speech in front of people. That's what we are dealing with. That's why it's my mission to empower 100 crore people in my lifetime, not in the next five years, in my lifetime, in the next, I don't know how many years. I want to impact 100 crore people to live confidently, powerfully, and to become their best selves because they have to overcome the fear of judgment. And the third part about self-confidence you've got to understand is you have to stop being an approval seeking machine. You know how many people I know, I talk to them and I say, you know, they have a great idea. And, you know, I was recently talking to a guy and he's a, he wants to start a business. Um, and uh, he told me about his business idea. I said, awesome, man. Yeah, when, when do you want to start doing something about it? He said, uh, I'll do it soon. I said, you know, why don't you start this month? He, here is what he told me. You ready? He said, I'll talk to my wife about that. I said, that's awesome. Has your wife been in business? She said, he said, no. I said, does your wife um, have an experience in this field? Nope. Okay. Does your wife work? Nope. Okay. What does your wife do? She's a housewife. Okay. I love the husband part in you, but I didn't say that, but I love the husband part in him. But do you think his wife, who has never been in the field, is even qualified to give him business advice about whether he should start the business or not? No. But we become an approval-seeking machine. Sir, can I do this? <clears throat> and you know where it started? <clears throat> this is what we had to do as a child in my school. Raise your pinky finger and say, Sir, can I go to bathroom? Can I go to, and we didn't say washroom, we had to go to say bathroom. Can I go to bathroom? Can I go to washroom? No, sit down. So I had all this speed and I had to sit down and then next teacher came in and then, sir, can I go to bathroom? Yeah, oh, now I can go. I, see, we were trained to seek approval from the boss, from the spouse, from the father, from the mother. And we have, you know, taken so much approval that we don't have any judgment of our own. Am I making sense to you so far? Type the word making sense if I'm making sense to you. Because if you want to be a confident speaker, you have to take your approval, not anybody else's approval. Your approval. Your approval. Do you have your approval? Do I feel I should go? Yes, I'll go. Do I feel I should not go? No, I should not go. Stop taking permission approval from other people. School days are over. School days are over. If you want to be a confident speaker, dude, own your value. This is about you. Stop being an approval seeking machine. And I might get passionate right now about what I'm saying right now because this is my pulses. My, my nerves are pulsing. This is, my, this is my purpose is to wake people up. A lot of people are helping the youth. I'm not for youth. I was telling Anupama the other day about it. I'm not for youth. A lot of young people follow me. I love that. There are hundreds and thousands of people who, are, who, who get my emails every single day. I love that. But I am for men, specifically professionals between 30 to 55 year old who have become professionally successful but fucked up their life. And inside they know it, but outside they smile. But inside they feel empty. Do you know somebody like that? Do you know somebody like that personally? Is somebody like that at your home? Stop being an approval-seeking machine. Can you imagine 
yeah thank you sridhar for accepting that acknowledging that i i really appreciate that can you imagine if you can overcome your fear of judgment if you erase your childhood programming and if you stop being an approval seeking machine then will you have any stage fear yes or no it's gone because now you don't have that fear of other people's judgment you won't have that approval seeking nature anymore it's gone that fear so the way you overcome that one of the ways uh, basic simple ways and we we give you the exact affirmations in the program is change your self talk before the affirmations you know one simple line i'll give you right now <clears throat> in write this down in moments of disturbance i'm calm confident and creative in moments of disturbance i'm calm confident and creative just write this down this is just one affirmations we have a entire affirmation creed that you need to need to read every single morning to really amp up your confidence and we we give you as a you know when people join the confidence people live workshop we give you that but one of them is in moments of disturbance i'm calm confident and creative now you wrote it down now read it to yourself don't type it just read verbally whatever i don't care where you are you might be in a coffee shop walking on the road driving just say it to yourself you're driving and you say yeah in the moments of disturbance i'm calm confident and creative verbally say it right now and tell me how you feel tell me in the chat box say it three times once twice thrice tell me how you feel and say it with emotion don't say oh, in moments of disturb energy in moments of disturbance i'm calm confident and creative say it three times okay let's do it together once in moments of disturbance i'm calm confident and creative second time in moments of disturbance i'm calm confident and creative third time with a smile on your face in and move your hands in moments of disturbance i'm calm confident and creative okay done for those of you who did it tell me in the chat box in one word how do you feel after saying that what kind of happy feeling do you have after saying that great relaxed yeah exactly confident stressless there you go shraddha says great yeah good confidence now imagine if you could say it every day and if i had if you had if you had the entire document you know written out for you exactly word by word it could be amazing right it could be amazing for you can you imagine if i could give you my personal practices imagine if i met you you're meeting me on video i love that imagine if i met you face to face and you had 25 other professionals as well in the in the room who are learning like you high vibration from all over the world we have people all over the world who come to bangalore to attend the confidence speaker live workshop now and if i give you all the affirmations and if you read it and if you got to know all the practices i did where would your income be where could your impact go where could your confidence go man your health your relationships could change and that's the first part so overcome your confidence problem second is first impression booster i want you to write this down somewhere you never get us in fact get ready in the chat box finish this sentence for me you never get a second chance to make a what you never get a second chance to make a first impression there you go first impression you never get a second chance to make a first impression but do you you might have heard it but do you practice that in your speech when you meet somebody when you meet somebody give me the phone when you meet somebody and um, <clears throat> you know at a, at a party or wherever and and you're checking your phone is that a good impression yeah when you go to a party and somebody says so what do you do and you do like uh, i uh, work for a blah blah blah, 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 blah and you don't even know how to create a pitch then what is that a good impression no when people ask me bishal what do you do when i go to party in case somebody doesn't know me i say well i help men like you become confident and powerful so they can increase their income and impact what do you do like ah oh, how do you do that 
write this down the first point you have seven it's called a seven second rule you have seven seconds to make or break your first impression whether it's in your presentation in networking in communication phone call video conference call you have seven seconds and most people <coughs> waste their time in the first seven seconds they say things like good morning happy to be here you know happy dashera isn't this a great weather blah 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 today we are talking about no this is don't be boring Mono, mo, don't be monotonous in your speaking skills what you got to do in the first seven seconds is arrest their attention write this down arrest their attention Attention is the currency. Seven to fifteen seconds. Se seven seconds, basically. Seven to fifteen seconds. But right now, it's more. You know, in two thousand seventeen, people's attention span, and today, two thousand nineteen, two years later, it's much lower. People are clicking, man. They are just clicking. Their MTV, Facebook, WhatsApp, email, what not, the shopping, the Amazon, and now you are talking. You have to grab their attention, arrest their attention. Right. So, how many of you'd love to know a way to arrest people's attention? Type the word attention in the chat box. I'm going to give you one specific technique you can use from now in any presentation to arrest people's attention. For those of you are typing, I'll give it to you right away. Okay, good. The, the way is to ask, write this down, a question in the first seven seconds when you start a presentation. Start with a question. Let's say you're giving a speech. Um, so I so I'm, I'm thinking of a topic which is relates to most of you. Let's say you are a vice president of sales, and you are gonna for a company, and you are gonna reveal this monthly report of you know how much sales your company made, who was the sales superstar. Instead of going there and saying today we'll talk about the sales numbers, good, good afternoon, guys. No, go there and say. How many of you want to know the secret of being a sales superstar in this company? Raise your hand. Great. And how many of you would like to know how to double your sales in the next 30 days without more work? Great. And how many of you would love to, first of all, before we get there, how many of you would love to know who was the sales superstar this month? And then I'm going to give you some tips on how to actually go further and improve your sales next month. How many of you love to be? How many of you love to do that today? Boom! Great. And then you're going to the presentation. Isn't it far better than saying this is the bad version I'm going to give you right now? Bad version. You come in the bad version with a lot of reports, and you thump, you thump it on the on the table and say, "This month was very slow. Apart from this guy, uh, Mr. Sajit." There was not very great, lot of results. Why is it happening? What is the problem? What's the issue? We have given you training. Tell me, you have to, I'm your friend. Tell me now. Have I ever been rude to you? <laughs> right? You get the message. You get the message. It's, it's the way you engage people. Same thing goes to leadership presentations. If you're leadership, if you're speaking, if you're a professional speaker, start asking questions. Okay, and the final part is startling statistic. Anytime you can use a statistic, it's gonna change your life. Okay, so let's say you're speaking. I'm gonna give you a simple topic right now. You wanna know how to use a startling statistic? Type the letter B I O. Bring it on B I O. So I, I can give you an example of startling statistic. Okay, good. Startling statistic. Let's say you are speaking on a small topic like, uh, not small, a uh, very important topic like smoking, that smoking kills. How would most people start the presentation? They would come and say, good morning, happy to be here. Today we're talking about smoking. Smoking is injurious to health. Blah, blah, blah. Same thing they'll say, right? But how I would do if I went, I, should, I would shake the hand of the MC. I would say, I have bad news for you. And the bad news is that 70 people, 70% 70 of people today smoke and 50 of them, 50% of them die before the age of 55. 
You know what that means? We have 200 people in this room, meaning 100 of you smoke, meaning 50 of you will die before 55. Now the question is, how many of you will die before 55? Hi, my name is Vishal Sarkar, and today I want to talk about the value of not smoking, blah, 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 and I would go there. Startling statistic. Can you see the value in this? Can you use it for your specific situation? Are you enjoying this? Are you having fun so far? Tap the word fun if you are having fun in this webinar so far. <clears throat> good. Good, good, good. Okay, so seven second rule. Don't be boring, arrest their attention. That's just shift number one. Uh, two, rather. Shift number three is you have to structure your thoughts correctly with the right words at the right time. <laughs> Write this down. Saying the right word at the wrong time is makes it a wrong word. Saying the right word at the wrong time makes it a wrong word. So it's about using the right words at the right time. It's not about being formidable. It's about being powerful. It's not about having engrossing amount of vocabulary it's about having energizing words that inspire people it's not about being a dictionary it's about being a leader so you got to be a creator of of using powerful words than victim what do most people say when you ask them the question so how are you Two words, they say, yeah, it's fine. Or they say, yeah. Or you say, you know, good morning. They say, yeah, what is there? What's good about this morning? Or they say, good morning. When somebody says to me, how are you? I said, I'm doing magnificent. How are you? I'm doing phenomenal. I'm doing awesome. You gotta use energizing words. Okay? So, three things here you gotta use powerful vocabulary inside our program. Inside our program, we teach you how to use powerful vocabulary. By the way, it's not just about using the right words. It's about how you're using the right words. So you can tell somebody, I'm extremely well, but you gotta feel extremely well for them to really understand that you're feeling extremely well, right? So you gotta have that powerful vocabulary. So inside the program, and in a few weeks ago, we did a mastermind call, right, Balash, you remind me if I'm wrong. Um, you know, how to expand your vocabulary, you know, the, the, the retention, attention, and application and implementation, how to do that. Yeah, Palash says, yeah, absolutely. I think it was about two months ago. Um, was it helpful to you, Palash? Let me know. I, I mean, you know, I'm sure it has been. So, <clears throat> so powerful vocabulary. And by the way, for those of you who don't know Palash's story, um, yeah, thank you, Balash. He came to our program one year ago. He joined our two-day event uh, in Bangalore. I think November was the was the date, if I'm not wrong, uh, Palash last year. And uh, since then, he joined after the two-day program. He's like, if I can improve so much in two days, I, I wonder what the one-year mastermind can look like. And he joined the mastermind. And this year, uh, apart from many other progresses he has made in his health, in his relationship, personal life, and career, he recently, this year, he became, he took the ownership of our Durga Puja's organization committee. Right, uh, which is a big thing in uh, was it in Pune or Thane? I think Thane, um, and uh, he took the leadership because that's real, real leadership. You know, organizing big things and and helping people, uh, and and he did that because you know he's a leader. Palash is a leader, and Thane. So absolutely, this is absolutely possible for you. So I'm going to give you some examples right now of how to create better vocabulary. Uh, but instead of just giving you words, what I want to do is I want to give you some examples. Would you like some examples of instead of saying A, how to say B to make it better? Add the word example if you want that. I'm going to give you some examples. Okay, good. So <clears throat> write this down somewhere. Your words should create images in people's head. Your words should create images, image, pictures in people's head. Uh, 
Okay, so this is an example. Somebody says, person A average says, I have to go. And person B says, I must leave now because I'm in a rush. Which sounds better and which has more picture? Just I have to go or I must leave now because I'm in a rush. Which has better picture, A or B? B, absolutely. So, but which one do you say most? Do you say, I must leave now because I'm in a rush? Most often, no. Why? Because that's the, that's the difference between a generally good speaker and a great speaker. Great speakers use words that inspire people uh, and by creating pictures. Second one, you can say, yeah, we finished the project successfully. Or I admit that we had initial challenges and roadblocks in this project, but we held the ground and we skyrocketed the success of this project together happily and successfully. Which one inspires you, A or B? B. B is good. B is good. You should do B. You should do B. Can you see? One more example. Can we do one more example? This is the one that I'm going to use. I just wrote down. This is if you want to ask for a raise to your boss, let's say, or a leadership team, whoever you know makes that decision for you, how to do that? In fact, a lot of people come to me. This is a part of the program we do. Um, and in fact, there are ways to actually deny that. You know, somebody comes to you with a raise. There are ways to say no without directly saying it. Where they basically, it's called a my. <coughs> it's called um, quantum connection with your subconscious. Quantum connection. Write this down, which is. You're not directly saying something, but you're saying something very subtly where they get the message. 100% of the time, they get the message. It's like you're, you are, um, instead of directly killing somebody, you're, you're, you're poisoning that. It's a bad example, by the way. Uh, but you're, you're poisoning somebody slowly and, and instead of directly going there and killing. So sometimes that, that poison and that killing basically is an excuse. Somebody have excuse, right? Many people have excuse that that's what you're killing. You're not killing the person, you're killing their excuses. Maybe you are telling your child to do the homework. They don't do, they don't do. You're directly doing it, but now you indirectly do a persuasion. It's called persuasive influence. Write this down, persuasive influence. We talk about it inside one of our advanced programs. So here is what you do. Do not say, I want to know when we can talk about my pay raise. Actually, it's been on hold for quite some time. You know, you told me last year also that I should get. No, don't do that. Do the B. Say, Raj, I'd love to have a conversation with you next week. And do it with smile. Okay, smile. Say, Raj, I'd love to have a conversation with you next week for about 15 minutes because I'm curious to know how I can add more value to your team, our clients, and our organization and how I might be able to go to the next level in my position right now. What works best for you, Raj? Tuesday, 2 p.m. or Thursday, 4.30 p.m.? If you are a boss, tell me which, which person makes you sound better. If you are a boss, if I say, I want to know when I can talk about my pay raise, it's being on quiet hold, or number two, if I say the B, A or B, which one would you hear, like to hear? B, yeah. Now, if you think about it, it's the same thing you're saying, but how you're saying it. Okay. Would you like me to coach you for the next few months on how to implement these things for your specific situation? Type the word coaching if you want me to personally coach you on how to do all these things for yourself, for your specific situation. So I can talk to you, mentor you. Good. Absolutely. We can nail it down for you. If I can help you become a powerful speaker, and then in the next 12 months, if I can mentor you and help you double your income, would it be worth for you to invest in yourself? Type the word worth it. If you feel it's worth investing in yourself to really get a return on investment in terms of money, happiness, confidence, absolutely. But most people, so there are three levels of people, okay? Can I share it with you? Before I go forward, can I just have a little fun with you? Let me just tell you this, okay? Three levels of people. Three levels of people. First is what I call free pull. Can you see this? Let me just 
stop sharing the screen first is free pull <laughs> they want free free ebooks they'll go to all free seminars 2 hours 3 hours they will eat lunch have some some uh, you know mints and all that they'll put in the pocket and come home you know some cold drink they'll bring home in glasses free pull they want all free they'll subscribe to hundreds of newsletters blogs free videos they'll free 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 they'll go if you give them free petrol they'll drink it free pull <laughs> second level is the my favorite second level is cheaple these are cheap they want everything as long as it's cheap cheap clothes cheap con no no cheap cheap anything anything cheap they'll go cheap course let's say i'm having fun with you can i be can i be friend with you and just have fun i'm just telling you the truth they want everything cheap first question they ask is how much is it they don't even know if this is the right car this is the right thing cheap how much is it now how much is it <clears throat> you know their son comes uh, baba i want a t-shirt how much is it cheaple i i got to tell you i was a cheaple for a long time and the third is a real people for them it's not about how much it costs of course money matters but it's about is it the right investment for me can i get a return on my investment here now tell me what is the biggest best investment that you can make is it land is it facebook is it real estate what is the best investment let me see if he, if somebody can get it right i will call out their name right now and and i'll reward you for that by calling out here what's the best investment somebody says knowledge okay close but no what is the best investment samyak is right pradeep is right vivek is right palash it's yourself investment in yourself kalpana is right kalpana and other mastermind members welcome to the call kalpana it's the investment in yourself if you do invest in real estate how much think about how much um in return on investment can you get in one year but if you invest in yourself in your skills in your mindset your skills set if you invest in mentoring to become a master how much can you get now you can double triple you know kalpana let me ask you a question type the word yes if you are if you are here kalpana um uh i saw her message here in the chat box okay kalpana you have invested a lot of money close to about what 10 lakhs rupees so far as a part of my programs i'm just being very transparent with everybody um you came to the confident speaker conference last year and you enrolled in the mastermind so my question is the investment you have made just not just money wise have i been able to help your life do you feel your investment was worthwhile yes or no in the chat box and i'm asking this randomly to you yes yeah i know it because and and she did not pay 10 20000 rupees 50000 rupees 1 lakh a lot of lakhs of rupees to be a part of my different programs she has been a part of my mastermind so is palash <clears throat> dude it's about it's about growing that's what it's about and i'm not saying you have to pay me 10 lakhs rupees you know, we have programs you know less than 1 lakh rupees as well you know i'm not here to talk about my program at all but i'm telling you to invest in yourself it's important take yourself seriously don't be a free pull and cheap pull be a real people okay take a screenshot of this free pull cheap pull people okay good let's go to the next point we were talking about back to teaching we have 5, 20 minutes more then we have to say goodbye i have to go for dinner i have a invitation as well um give me a second okay <clears throat> i think the screen is back can you see the screen now T type the word uh, screen if you can see my screen okay my team member joy says he's showing me the finger here he's saying yes okay joy is on the call as well um shift number 4 is you got to master your people connection and audience engagement techniques master your people connection and audience engagement techniques key ways to do that is number one by telling stories telling business and i'm not talking about once upon a time there was a cow no 
telling very straightforward stories. So in business situation, you can tell a case study, a client success story, a personal story, a leadership team story, or a CEO founder story. These are the five best stories that you can say in business situation. Next, you can create similarity. Similarity. How many of you are from a middle class background? Meaning you came from a middle class background. You were born and brought up in a middle class background. Type the word middle class in the chat box. Okay, yeah, MC. MC is better. MC. How many of you? Okay, good. A lot of people. So when you hear that I came from a middle class background, how many of you feel more connected? Type the word connection, if that's you. That yeah, wow, he was also, he came from middle class background. I came from middle class background, middle class background connection. Yeah, you got, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is what, it, this is truth and you have to tell the truth. That truth connects better than tactics. Truth is the ultimate connection point, guys. You can't lie your way to million, being a millionaire. You can't do that. You have to tell the truth. So create similarity. Third is create us versus them. This is a brilliant technique that I have seen uh, Barack Obama uses, Donald Trump uses, Narendra Modi uses, which is a framework call. And this, I, just on this us versus them framework in connection, I can spend, I don't know, seven hours, seven hours I can spend easily just teaching you on that. Um, because I've been, you know, studying storytelling and business storytelling and persuasion storytelling for the last 12 years, 15 years now, almost 12 years. So it's, it's easy for me to do that. But the basis of that is you create a common enemy when you talk to people. If you really want to influence them, you create a common enemy. So for example, any political leader, what they would do is they'd say something like, well, they said this, but we don't believe that, right? We believe in this. They say this. By they, they are meaning, you know, another political party. So they are creating that. Um, that's called a common enemy thing. It's uh, I've trained a CEO on how to use that by saying that, you know, those people are not productive, but we want to be productive, right? Raise your hand if that's you. Things like that. Us versus them. But majority understanding that you must have about connection is this. Do you have to connect with people? And you have seven seconds to do that. <clears throat> Whether you're speaking to people one-on-one -on -one, in group setting, connection is Amazing. Can I tell you a little fun line? Remember this. The more you connect, the more you collect. If you want to have more money in your bank account, you must have great connection account. Connect with people. If you want to have a higher income, more impact, more influence, learn to connect with people in a better way. All right. Shift number five is deliver a rock solid presentation with authoritative voice. Two things, authoritative voice and dynamic body language. Now for the time constraint, we don't have time to go in depth, but I'll quickly tell you some voice elements of power voice. Number one, write this down your pitch, P-I-T-C-H, pitch. Second, your speed. Third, your depth. Pitch speed depth fourth variety fifth position and sixth high status let me think if i if i remember pitch speed volume high status variety tone power voice you got to have all six to have a authoritative voice how many of you feel that you don't have a powerful voice? Type me in the chat box. Okay. I don't know what your name. It says the Redmi phone here. But yeah. Who else does not have a powerful voice? When you're speaking to an audience and you... How many of you want to have an authoritative voice like Amitabh Bachchan? Type me. An authoritative voice. Absolutely. That's for how you. That's when you want to have all the six elements together that I spoke about right now. Okay, and and we don't have time to talk about all that right now. We'll go through at the workshop, but I hope you're getting value. <clears throat> uh, in terms of delivery, always have a smile on your face. Not always, but not like a fake smile. Not all of those air hostess kind of smile, but very natural, genuine smile. And smile, by the way, is not just should not be in your on your cheek smile should be in your voice right like if you listen to my voice right now you can understand that i'm actually smiling inside i'm happy 
So when you're speaking to somebody on a phone call, right? Somebody picks up and they say, hello. And you say, what happened to you? Right? Maybe it's your wife. They say, nothing. But you know something happened. They are not telling you because you don't see that smile, hear that smile in your voice, in their voice. And the first, another thing you must have is proper hand gesture. Hand gesture when you're speaking. Don't put your hand inside your pocket. A lot of people do that. Or they put the hand in front of them like a student or behind them like a student. No. Put a, use your hands properly. So one example of that is this. For example, if you see, I'm using my hand gestures whenever I'm speaking. So whether I'm training people at the Confidence Speaker Live Workshop or I'm training thousands of people, this is what I do. Using proper hand gesture. So if you see my hands are very relaxed. I also have a pointer in my right hand um, for controlling the you know, slides. But left hand, if you see, few fingers are toward the audience, but very naturally, people don't see that I'm doing it. Natural is compulsory. You must have a natural part. So don't worry, you know, this is what we do. So when you come to the Confidence Speaker Live Workshop, we are gonna give you feedback one by one. Everybody comes on stage. I'm going to give you feedback and coaching on how to improve your voice as well. Okay. How many of you want me to personally coach you on stage to make your world class speaker? Type the word world class speaker if you want me to face to face coach you, mentor you, and make you a world class speaker. Let me see who is interested. And I'll tell you how. <clears throat> no shortcut. World class speaker. Shortcut WC is not applicable here and accepted. Okay, good. 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 No short. I for those of you who wrote shortcuts, uh, you're not quite. You know, not not. For you. All right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm here, man. I'm here. So this is this is the thing. So shift number six is don't get ready, <clears throat> but stay ready. Is my sound audible? Don't get ready, but stay ready. <clears throat> Sometimes you might have tough situations. Today, for example, I, I have the cough, the cold. My, my voice is a little <clears throat> cringy. I'm, I'm like feeling a little irritation in my voice, as you can. Uh, you might not be able to imagine that, but that's what's happening inside. But, you know, one thing I've understood is don't get ready. Stay ready. If you want to earn a better income, don't get ready. Stay ready. If you want to have great opportunities, don't get ready, stay ready. And for that, you need spontaneous speaking methods. Any monkey, any donkey, any ass, anybody can go home and do some ratta and come and vomit a presentation. But a real mark of a great speaker is their spontaneous speaking ability. How they speak on the spot when they did not have prior preparation. Do you agree with me on that? Agree or disagree? Type in the chat. Even if you disagree, type in the chat box. Because that's what the real mark of a champion speaker is. It's the spontaneous speaking, man. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so we have seven frameworks and formulas that we talk about inside the Confidence Speaker Workshop. I'm going to give you one right now. It's called Past, Present, Future. Because life is not scripted. This, I'm sure it has happened to you, right? You plan... A, B, C, but X, Y, Z happens. Anything you plan something that I'm going to go there and tell them, and you go there and that person is not even there, welcome to life. Same thing happens in presentation. Sometimes your PPT can go off, things can go off, and how do you handle the situation determines everything. So past, present, future. Talk about a little bit about the past, a little bit about the present, a little bit about the future. One more is positive, negative, my opinion. Anytime you have to talk about your opinion, <clears throat> um, don't just tell the opinion. Talk a little bit about the positive, a little bit about the negative, and a little bit about your opinion. Okay? Now, before we move forward, I'm going to bring Anupama in a second and, and see how, what your, what's been your biggest learning so far. And then after Anupama speaks for one or two minutes, I'm going to come back and share more. So <clears throat> let me know when Anupama, you can hear Anupama. So Anupama, you are on now. 
Let's see what's right. been the biggest learning for people so far. All right, people, when you can see me and hear me, just type it in the chat box that I can hear you, Anupama, or just I can. That's enough. So I'm going to do a, a fun thing for you right now. So just like Vishal did in the last uh, few minutes ago, you remember that he gave you a few situations. So plan A or plan B, uh, A or B, whatever you think is a better uh, solution or an answer you can just give it away uh, you can write it in the chat box a and b so can you can you guys hear me clearly okay so here's the first situation based on all that you have learned earlier so there is this is how i'm going to give you the situation so there are two impressions i'm going to give you you gotta tell me which is a better impression so first is a impression is when you go out onto the stage you say hello everyone and you begin the presentation and the second is you start with a question which of the uh, two is a better opening according to you guys Now, this was pretty easy. This is the first one. It's pretty easy. Now, the harder question is, why not just go with, uh, hello, everyone. What's wrong in that? There's nothing wrong. Think about it. Why is, hello, everyone. Like, everybody starts a presentation. Everybody starts by saying good morning and hello. And why is that wrong? Or why is that, uh, why is that something that you would not choose to do in presentations from now onwards? Why would you not choose to say, hello and rather start with a question that's boring according to rajiv that's boring connect to people and attract them traditional fresh these are all by the way correct answers and now you have yourself demonstrated the fact that why you should not start your next presentation by saying hello everyone because that's boring like you said it's traditional Samyak says, because that's not fresh. And when you start with a question that's fresh. And I think Bushal is back. So we were just discussing why we should not start a presentation with a hello. And why you should start with a question. So I gave them two situations. And they chose uh, to start with a question. So I asked them why it's that. And they gave me a few interesting answers. All right, good. <clears throat> That's good. That's good. Very good. Anupama, thank you so much. Appreciate that. By the way, how many of you think Anupama looks beautiful? Type the word beautiful in the chat box. Um, if, you, if you think Anupama looks beautiful. Oh, yeah, dude. Absolutely. By the way, she's taken by me. Uh, so, yeah, she's my beautiful queen. Thank you, Anupama, for all your support on the webinar. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, I think, uh, the, the, I'll tell you a quick story before going. Uh, how Anupama and I met is during a speech. See, I, I, there is a reason why I love public speaking. I, I wrote the book. Um, are, are we really sharing this for you right now? Um, you know, it's called, yeah, this is my book. If you can see it, I love public speaking. There is a reason why I love public speaking. I was speaking <laughs> to a small audience. I think 10, 12 people, you know, that was not even a big thing. Anupama was sitting in the front row. I knew this is my audience. Right. Uh, her her look more than that her courage to speak she was the only person in the audience who was who said no this is wrong this is not right this is you know like all those you know kind of like an angry audience she was the exact example of that like she would say exact opposite and you know after the you know we spoke a little bit but i think few months later on she she called me on my cell phone uh, she got my number from uh, the, the person who invited me to speak and then uh, yeah and then we started speaking and ever since she is my life partner my business partner and uh, you know how do you know she's a good person dude she's tolerating me she's tolerating me she is a kind person for sure but just wanted to give a little context about that because she's a big part of why i do what i do she's a part of my mission 
to impact people. And she inspires me. She runs her own consulting business in, in fitness and health. Um, but she, she helps me so much in terms of you know, helping me be a better man. So Anubama, thank you so much for all your love and support for all the people. For, for you, I'm able to impact so many people, actually. So thank you. Thank you. So thank you let's come for back from the love story to the, to the public thank speaking you. story now. Um, so seven frameworks we have spoken about. And the final shift is that you must, must finish with an impactful message that moves people into action. One big problem many people have is um, <clears throat> they start well, they also carry forward well, but in the end, they have a problem. Does that happen to you? Like in the end, you don't know how to end or you rush up, you speed, you fast because you're nervous. Anybody faces any problem in ending? Tell me what's your biggest problem in the ending of the presentation, okay? That's a big problem you have. So few pointers on that is number one, understand that your conclusion is like a dessert. See, a few months ago, I went with this invitation. These days, I don't accept a lot of invitations to go on wedding and all that. It's too many people, too much talking. And food is not worth it. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, most, and I, I ate all the thing was very amazing. You know, the Navaratna curry, the, the paneer, uh, the prawn fry. Oh my God. Mm, it was, and best part, it was a buffet. So I could take as much as I wanted. I was just pouring in. Yeah, yeah, fish. Yeah, this, give this. But in the end, they had like kheer. And I love kheer. Guess what? The kheer was bad. So I saved some space in my tummy thinking I'll eat a lot of kheer. I ate the kheer. I was like, what the kheer? And when everybody was asking me how was the food in my family, I said, no, no, the food was not good. The thing is, food was good. Uh, just the ending was bad. The kheer. But for that, my entire impression of the entire thing was it, is, it was just so-so is what I said. Do you understand that your conclusion of your speech is the kheer? If your kheer is not good enough, people will say the presentation was not good. So ending is very, very important. Okay. Lingering effect. Sometimes, you know, you eat something or you drink a little wine, anything. Mm, you are savoring. Um, in Bengali, we say, Amar mukhe lege ache, right? Palash. Um, for those of you who understand Bengali, Amar mukhe lege ache. It, it's, it's still in my mouth. Like I remember that feeling. It's called the lingering effect. And your presentation, your speech must have that lingering effect. After hearing you, people should go and say, Oh my God, it was so good. They should feel as if they had an amazing dish. The dish is your presentation. Okay. End on a high. Don't just end like, okay, do you have any questions? No. And you got to end with a vision. At the end, tell people what's important. Because guys, I can end my presentation in, in this webinar in some time, but I got to tell you right now, this is not just about public speaking. We are on a mission. We are on a mission to impact people. And it starts with impacting you. If you don't improve your income, how can you help another person? If you don't improve your confidence, how can you help another person? If you don't improve your lifestyle, your, your health, your relationship, your career, your influence, your impact, you know, if, if you don't do that, it, because it all starts with you. And we are on a mission to impact 100 crore people because we are going there. It's not a question about whether we'll go there. I'm telling you, we are going there. It's not whether it's possible. I'm telling you, we have a plan. We are going there. We are impacting people every single day. Now, the question is not whether we'll reach there. The question is, when we go there, are you going to be a part of us or not? That's the real question. And that's why we do what we do at the Confidence Speaker Live Workshop at the Balanced Life Mastermind Tribe, because this is all about transforming you. And why did I show up on a call like this even when my throat is paining inside? Because I want to serve you. I want to impact you. Is that okay? Because I really care. I get passionate because I care. I'm not a businessman. I'm a man. I happen to have a business. I care. I have a brother. I have a lover. I have my mother. I have my father. I have friends. I have followers. I have you know, relatives just like you. I came from a Bengali medium background. I did not know how to make crores of rupees. I did not know how to give speeches in front of thousands of people. I did not know how to impact people. Dude, I had to learn it by mentors. I had to learn it by investing in myself. And it's if it's possible for me, 
it's 100% possible for you. You must have the right kind of methods, the right mentors. And, and once you have that, man, I can tell you, life changes for the better. Because I, I got to tell you this. There are a few things I believe in, we believe in as a part of this community. Because this community is not about just, you know, just about learning public speaking. This community is about, has some core values. It, this community has things that we not just speak about, but this community has things that we are proud to share. What are some of those core values? These are some of the core values. First of all, we believe in personal freedom. Personal freedom, that you have to have freedom financially, mentally, time-wise. You have to have that freedom. That's why I created the Balanced Life Mastermind. Second, you must find time and resources for your family once you take care of yourself. Family. And many people say, yeah, yeah, family, I'm buying things. You understand this. Your, let, me, let me write it down. Let me write it down. This is going to be so powerful. You think that your children or your wife want more presents. Let me share, stop sharing the screen. You think that I can give them a lot of presents, but they want your presence. Not just physical presence, but emotional presence. When you are there, but you're thinking about the office, about the money situation, I'm going to pay the loan. They're not even present there. So we must have the presence for our families all the time. Next is you must have, you must invest in mentoring for mastery. If you don't invest in yourself, nobody will do that for you. Fourth, you must act from a place of courage instead of fear. A lot of you I know want to come to our masterminds or some other, other programs, but you think, okay, I need to make this decision. It involves money. It involves time. Dude, stop being a pussy. Stop being a pussy. If you don't choose me, fine. Go, some, go somewhere else, but make a decision for yourself. People come to me because they want world-class results. Maybe you're not ready for that, but go somewhere. You just thinking, you know, have you seen that just taking a lot of time to make a decision doesn't get you anywhere. Take courage, be a man, show your balls in your decisions that this is me. And whether you are a man or a woman doesn't matter. Balls are here, not between your thighs. Balls are here in your mind, in your courage. Then we believe in service mindset. We want to serve people. What am I doing right now? I'm serving you. I'm helping you. Whether I'm serving you, serving an audience, we never come from a place of impressing people. We want to serve. When we feed dogs, when I want to help a guy on the road, a, home, a, home, a homeless person, a beggar, I don't come there to show people that, look at me, I'm helping. We have service mindset. When I say we, I mean you, because you're a part of this tribe and legacy. We create things today that will live always. This book is an example. My book, I love my first book, I love public speaking. See, when I'm gone, all my YouTube videos, even if I die, my books, my next generation can see that. So we create inside our programs, you know, Palash, Kalpana, they have written articles you can find online. Right, Palash, right, right, right Kalpana? They have written articles that people can read and get help from throughout. And now Palash is actually starting a YouTube channel very soon. He's, he does not, he's not an entrepreneur yet. He, is a, he has a job. Um, he, he works as a sales leader, a sales manager in a company in Mumbai. But he's still starting that. Why? Because he understands the value of legacy. So my question is, do you have these values? Or if you don't have it yet, are you willing to have these six values? Type the word, I value me. If you value these six things. Personal freedom. Family, investing in mentoring, courage, service mindset, and legacy. You got to do this, man. Okay. All righty. Let me see. We have a few. We have covered a lot. And if not, I'll just take five minutes and answer some questions and then say goodbye. But has it been valuable to you so, guys so far? Have I helped you so far today? Have I been uh, impactful for you and your life? Because that's what I want. You know, this is, uh, this is Nagesh. 
He said, he wrote a post a few days ago, I was haunted by stage fear for more than seven years <clears throat> and was struggling to give engaging presentations. Um, and my speech was not in sync with my body language. However, today I'm a very confident speaker and stage fear has vanished out of the window. My mentor, Bishal Sarkar, gave me feedback that recently I did rock the stage and influence people on bigger platforms with my speech. And that's the best compliment you can get from your mentor. Seven years, guys. Seven years of stage fear is gone. So if you really want to take it to next level, um, you want an in-person transformation to create a breakthrough in your confidence. In person, where I mentor you face to face to create a breakthrough in your confidence. So this is, you know, a client sent me a text few, you know, in 2017 says, Vishal, I did amazing presentation. If you, you know, this person was giving a presentation in front of 50 people. He said, Vishal, I did amazing. People were engaged right from the beginning. I rocked. And then he says that there were eight presenters. My number was seven. And after all were done, first speaker said, you stole the complete attention. Bam. There were eight managers speaking, but this person got it all. Because this person learned the formulas that we teach inside the program. And I want to mentor you on stage. You have been reading the emails. You have Maybe some of you have come to some of my programs, but this is about going to the next level. Raghavendra, <clears throat> he came down from USA to say, you know, inside the program, and he said, is the most practical. He's, he's an Indian who stays in USA now. Is the most practical course I've attended in my life. Why do you think somebody comes from USA by taking a flight to come to India to attend? Because it gets results. This is Vinod, another person, you know, Sandhya. It's all about this specialized knowledge multiplied by confident public speaking equals massive success. So how many of you want me to quickly, if I take one minute and tell you how to do that, because uh, right now my programs are full, but how many of you want to know, how many of you are willing to, and, and those of you are not, you know, you're more than welcome to you know, leave respectfully, but how many of you want to know how I can help you in person through one of our programs to make you a better speaker because I'll help you connect with Anupama personally. I'll give you her cell phone number so you, she can talk to her sometime tomorrow or day after to see how to go there. So type the word priority, priority, if it's a priority for you to become a world-class speaker. Otherwise, no, we're not wasting time here. I don't, wanna, I don't want her to speak to everybody. I want her to speak to me <laughs> more than anybody. But those of you who are willing to do that, I'll just type the word priority in the chat box. Um, Okay, great. Uh, what next step is, uh, let me think, I've not thought about this. There are two or three of you, I, I, I would say you're not ready right now because you have contacted us before you haven't enrolled, and that's fine. Um, you know, you're not for us. Um, I'm not calling out names right now. It would not be very positive on, for, from me. But for those of you who it's really priority for you to really improve your confidence and public speaking to go to the next level career, I'm going to give you something. I will give you Anupama's number in a minute, number one. Number two, those of you who enroll tomorrow, Anupama is going to give you a call. In fact, my team member Joy is going to text you um, today with the joy can you whoever is typing the message with their number can you just uh, copy paste and save the numbers in your notepad right now can you do that with name and number just copy copy paste and save it in the microsoft so my team member joy is going to send you a text message later on because guys here is what you understand you have a now you have a choice you can keep waiting by theory and books and all that and, and you can spend the next 50 years and understand that your life is wasted or you can become a confident action taker because there are two kinds of people in this world. So we believe in this. I believe in you. So here is how we're going to do this. Uh, let me sh sh stop sharing the screen. Um, those of you who said it's priority, type your cell phone here. Uh, Anupama will personally call you tomorrow. Okay. Or, just type your numbers. Anupama will person call you tomorrow. Just your cell phone number. Anupama will text you by my team member. 
joy will first of all message you and then my team member uh, my anupama will uh, call you yeah okay all right good just hold on. 